Moving forward, let's now apply the slot cut here. Pressing letter L. Left click. Holding my left mouse button. And drop our final point here. I'm going to press escape. Press letter D for dimension. Selecting this line. And this line. Key in a value of 18. Pressing enter. I'm going to hit escape. So notice on our 2D spec, the center point and the center point of this one or this slot is aligned horizontally. So going back to horizontal constraint, selecting this point and this point. So now they are aligned. I'm going to hit escape, press letter D again. I'm going to dimension this one and this center point. Go up, drop it here, key in 18. Hit escape. So let's remove this line. I can split this one, selecting split, selecting this one, left click, and this one. I'm going to hit escape to check. So now this is a new entity. I'm going to select this one, right click, and make this as a construction line. Now I'm going to press F8 to check our constraints. So notice we should be having a tangent constraint here. Going up, selecting tangent, selecting this arc and this line. And finally hit escape and press F9 to hide our constraints. Now for our arc here, your guess is right. We can mirror this one to create another slot here. But we need a mirror line so I can create a line L selecting the center point and this center point. Hit escape. Selecting this line, right click to make it construction. Selecting this one. Now going to pattern, mirror, we are prompted to select entities, selecting this one, this one, and finally this one. Go back again to select our mirror line, left click to activate, selecting this vertical line, and finally hit apply. And done. So here as well. We can split this one, so split, left click, and left click, hit escape, selecting this line, right click, and select construction.